A pulsed nuclear thermal rocket is a type of nuclear thermal rocket NTR concept developed at the Polytechnic University of Catalonia, Spain and presented at the 2016 AIAA say, ASEE Propulsion Conference for Thrust and Specific Impulse ISP amplification in a conventional nuclear thermal rocket. The pulsed nuclear thermal rocket is a bimodal rocket able to work in a stationary at constant nominal power as in conventional conventional NTR, and as well as a pulsed mode as a Triga-like reactor, making possible the production of high power and an intensive neutron flux in short time intervals. In contrast to nuclear reactors where velocities of the coolant are no larger than a few meter per second and thus, typical residence time is on seconds, however, in rockets chambers with subsonic velocities of the propellant around hundreds of meters per second, residence time are around. 10 minus 2 s display style 10 caret minus 2 s 2 10 minus 3 s display style 10 caret minus 3 s and then a long power pulse translates into an important gain in energy in comparison with the stationary mode. The gained energy by pulsing the nuclear core, can be used for thrust amplification by increasing the propellant mass flow, or using the intensive neutron flux to produce a very high specific impulse amplification, even higher than the fission fragment rocket, where in the pulsed rocket the final propellant temperature is only limited by the radiative cooling after the pulsation. Topic. Statement of the concept A rough calculation for the energy gain by using a pulsed thermal nuclear rocket in comparison with the conventional stationary mode, is as follows. The energy stored into the fuel after a pulsation, is the sensible heat stored because the fuel temperature increase. This energy may be written as E pulse equals C F M F Delta T display style e underscore text pulse equals C underscore F M underscore F Delta T where e pulse display style e underscore text pulse is the sensible heat stored after pulsation C F display style C underscore F is the fuel heat capacity M F display style M underscore text F is the fuel mass Delta T display style Delta T is the temperature increase between pulsations. On the other hand, the energy generated in the stationary mode, i.e., when the nuclear core operates at nominal constant power is given by E stationary equals chi L L T Display style e underscore text stationary equals chi underscore l l t, where chi l display style chi underscore l is the linear power of the fuel power per length of fuel l display style l is the length of the fuel t. Display style T is the residence time of the propellant in the chamber. Also, for the case of cylindrical geometries for the nuclear fuel, we have M F equals pi R F two L rho L 
display style m underscore f equals pi r underscore f caret two l row underscore l, and the linear power given by chi l equals four pi kappa f t f minus T S Display style chi underscore L equals four pi kappa underscore F T underscore F T underscore S where R F Display style R underscore F is the radius of the cylindrical fuel Rho F Display style row underscore f. The fuel density kappa f. Display style kappa underscore f. The fuel thermal conductivity T f. Display style T underscore f. Is the fuel temperature at the center line T s. Display style T underscore S is the surface or cladding temperature. Therefore, the energy ratio between the pulsed mode and the stationary mode N equals E pulse E stationary. Display style n equals frac e underscore text pulse e underscore text stationary yields n equals c f rho f r f two four pi Kappa F T F minus T S Delta T T Display style N equals FRAC C underscore F row underscore F R underscore F carrot two four pi kappa underscore F T underscore F T underscore S left FRAC delta T T right where the term inside the bracket delta T T Display style left frac delta t t right is the quenching rate. Typical average values of the parameters for common nuclear fuels as MOX fuel or uranium dioxide are heat capacities, thermal conductivity, and densities around C F three hundred J M. O L K display style C underscore F simic three hundred J mole C D O T K kappa F six W K M two Display style kappa underscore f simic six with k c d o t m caret two and rho f ten four k g m three Display style row underscore f simic ten carat four kilogram m carat three, respectively, with radius close to r f ten minus two m. Display style r underscore f simic ten carat minus two m. And the temperature drop between the center line and the cladding on T 
T F minus T S equals six hundred K Display style T underscore F T underscore S equals six hundred K or less, which result in linear power on Chi L forty five thousand W M Display style chi underscore L simic four five O O O W per meter. With these values the gain in energy is approximately given by N six times ten minus three delta T T Display style n simic six times ten carat minus three left frac delta t t right, where delta t t display style left frac delta t t right is given in k s display style k s because the residence time of the propellant in the chamber is on 10 minus 3 s display style 10 carat minus 3 s 2 10 minus 2 s display style 10 carat minus 2 s Considering subsonic velocities of the propellant of hundreds of meters per second and meter chambers, then, with temperatures differences on delta T 10 3 K display style delta T simic 10 carat 3 K or quenching rates on delta T T Ten six K S Display style left FRAC Delta T T right Simic ten carat six K S Energy amplification by pulsing the core could be thousands times larger than the stationary mode. More rigorous calculations considering the transient heat transfer theory shows energy gains around hundreds or thousands times, i.e. 10 2 n 10 3 display style 10 carat 2 leq n leq 10 carat 3 quenching rates on delta T T ten six K S Display style left FRAC Delta T T right GEQ ten carat six K S are typical in the technology for production of amorphous metal, where extremely rapid cooling in the order of ten six K S Delta T T ten seven K S Display style ten carat six K S L E Q left F R A C Delta T T right L E Q ten carat seven K S are required. Topic. Direct thrust amplification The most direct way to harness the amplified energy by pulsing the nuclear core is by increasing the thrust via increasing the propellant mass flow. Increasing the thrust in the stationary mode where power is fixed by thermodynamic constraints, is only possible by sacrificing exhaust velocity. 
In fact, the power is given by P equals 1 2 F V E display style P equals frac 1 2 F V underscore text E where P display style P is the power F display style F is the thrust and V E display style V underscore text E the exhaust velocity on the other hand thrust is given by F equals M P V E Display style f equals dot m underscore text p v underscore text e, where m p display style dot m underscore text p is the propellant mass flow. Thus, if it is desired to increase the thrust, say n times in the stationary mode, it will be necessary to increase n 2 display style n caret 2 times the propellant mass flow and decreasing 1 n display style frac 1 n times the exhaust velocity however if the nuclear core is pulsed thrust may be amplified n display style n times by amplifying the power n display style n times and the propellant mass flow n display style n times and keeping constant the exhaust velocity topic isp amplification The attainment of high exhaust velocity or specific impulse ISP is the first concern. The most general expression for the ISP is given by I S P C T Display style I underscore text S P Simic C S Q R T T being C Display style c a constant and t display style t the temperature of the propellant before expansion. However, the temperature of the propellant is related directly with the energy as e k t display style e simic k t where k Display style k is the Boltzmann constant. Thus, I S P C E display style I underscore text S P simic C S Q R T E being C display style C a constant. In a conventional stationary NTR, the energy E display style E for heating the propellant is almost from the fission fragments which encompass almost the 95% of the total energy, and the faction of energy from prompt neutrons F N display style F underscore text N is only around 5%, and therefore, in comparison, is almost negligible. However, if the nuclear core is pulsed as previously discussed, it is able to produce n display style n times more energy than the stationary mode, and then the fraction of prompt neutrons or f n n Display style F underscore text N N 
could be equal or larger than the total energy in the stationary mode, and because this neutron energy is directly transported from the fuel into the propellant as kinetic energy unlike the energy from fission fragments which is transported as heat from the fuel into the propellant, then is not constrained by the second law of thermodynamics, meaning that there is no impediment to transport this energy from the fuel to the propellant even if the fuel is colder than the propellant, in other words, it is possible a propellant hotter than the fuel, which is the very limit for specific impulse enhancement in classics NTRs. In summary, if the pulse generates n display style n times more energy than the stationary mode, the ISP amplification is given by I SP I S P O F N N plus one Display style I underscore text S P Simic I underscore text S P O S Q R T F underscore text N N plus one Where I S P Display style I underscore text S P is the amplified specific impulse I S P O Display style I underscore text S P O the specific impulse in the stationary mode F N Display style F underscore text N the fraction of prompt neutrons n display style n the energy amplification by pulsing the nuclear core with values of n display style n between 10 2 display style 10 caret 2 2 10 3 Display style ten carat three and prompt neutron fractions around F N one twenty Display style F underscore text N Simic FRAC one twenty The hypothetical I SP Display style I underscore text SP Amplification attainable makes the concept specially interesting for interplanetary spaceflight. Topic: Advantages of the design. There are several advantages relative to conventional stationary NTR designs. Because the neutron energy is transported as kinetic energy from the fuel into the propellant, then a propellant hotter than the fuel is possible and therefore the I SP display style I underscore text SP is not limited to the maximum temperature permissible by the fuel, i.e., its melting temperature. The other rocket concept which allows a propellant hotter than the fuel is the fission fragment rocket, however, in the pulsed rocket concept, the propellant is heated instantaneously as a burst rather than by continuous heating as in the fission fragment concept, then very high propellant temperatures are theoretically attainable immediately after the pulse, which is followed by a rapid radiative cooling. Therefore, by reducing the residence time of the propellant after the pulse will reduce the losses in propellant temperature. Topic. Other considerations For I SP Displaystyle I underscore text SP Amplification, only the energy from prompt neutrons and some prompt gamma energy, is used with this purpose. The rest of the energy, i.e., the almost 95% display style 95% 
from fission fragments is an unwanted energy and must be continuously evacuated by a heat removal auxiliary system using a suitable coolant. Liquid metals, and particularly lithium, can provide the fast quenching rates required. As regard to the mechanism for pulsing the core, the pulsed mode can be produced using a different variety of configurations depending of the desired frequency of the pulsations. For instance, the use of standard control rods in a single or banked configuration with motor driving mechanism or the use of standard pneumatically operated pulsing mechanisms are suitable for generating up to 10 pulses per minute. For the production of pulses at rates up to 50 pulsations per second, the use of rotating wheels introducing alternately neutron poison and fuel or neutron poison and non-neutron poison can be considered. However, for pulsations ranking the thousands of pulses per second K8 Z, optical choppers or modern wheels employing magnetic bearings allow to revolve at 10 kHz. If even fast pulsations are desired, then, it would be necessary the use of a new type of pulsing mechanism that does not involve mechanical motion, for example, lasers based in the 3 He polarization as early proposed by Bowman, or proton and neutron beams. For the nuclear thermal rocket frequencies in the order of 1 kHz to 10 kHz are the choice. One aspect to be considered is that, because the large amount of energy which must be evacuated as heat almost 95% from fission reactions in each pulse, this imply a large dedicated E-heat transfer surface. Topic. See also. Fission Fragment Rocket